All right, here with the head football coach of the Highland Springs Springers, Lauren Johnson. His team wins a hard-fought game in the Virginia Beach Sports Place tonight, 13 to six over Oscar Smith. Coach, it was gritty, it was hard-nosed, it was a defensive slugfest. But being your background, I bet you like that. I, it, it doesn't bother me any any way, form, or fashion. A, a win is a win is a win. Any way you write it, any way you tell it, and uh, we got the W tonight, and I'm just thankful for that. Uh, I, I got everything that I expected when we scheduled this game, uh, a hard-fought football game against a quality program in their backyard. Uh, it helps us grow and get better, you know, when we play on the road later in the season. You know, you could pick a lot of different players for a player of the game. Players shine on both sides of the ball tonight. Dozens of players on each side with scholarship offers. Two guys that stood up to me was your quarterback, Bug Jones. I know he didn't have the prettiest of stat lines, but just to take all the shots he did at QB and then on defense, Tavares Short, I think he had about 10 or 11 tackles, had a key sack late as well. So if you ride with those, I'll ride with those. I'll take uh, Jamel Johnson too, yes. making a spectacular catch down here to get us going, moving in the right direction. So with all of that going on, man, we just, we got good quality guys that have bought into it. They, they like playing football at Highland Springs. They play hard. Uh, we got some time now to get better uh, over the next couple weeks before we get on the road and go to Page, like in North Carolina. So that's another road test. So we got two at home, uh, and we'll be ready for those. And then, you know, I'm just excited about the fact that we came down here, we got the win, and uh, we got a, a, the atmosphere that we wanted. State championship atmosphere uh, in the second or third week of September. I mean, that's, that's kind of unheard of in the state of Virginia, yeah. but we got it. And uh, I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure Coach Scott likes what his kids did, and I like what our kids did, and, and we got the double. Well, go back to the old being comfortable when it's uncomfortable. Absolutely, right? yeah. So we, we, I told him, you know, when we got in the halftime, just take a deep breath. This is what we wanted. We wanted to be comfortable being uncomfortable, and, and, and that's going to be something that we live on and hang our hat on the entire year. If we can do that, then we can be good, and, and uh, we'll be successful later down the stretch mentioned the atmosphere. What was it like moving from at Oscar Smith to the sports plaque? So, so suddenly, you yeah. know? So, so I, I'm gonna tell you that before you even continue asking the question. <laughs> so anytime I'm playing away and my son is standing behind you, uh, can attest to this. When I'm playing in a stadium that I've never played in before, I go and visit the stadium, right? So I went over to Oscar Smith, drove over there, took pictures, knew the lay of the land, knew where we would park the buses. I just scouted, right? Mm -hmm. Without anybody being there. Uh, <laughs> When they moved here, I didn't have a chance to get here. I've been here before when Hermitage played Ocean Lakes yes. in a scrimmage years ago. Yep. So I knew a little bit about it. I thought we would be on the far sideline, but Coach Scott pulled the switcheroo on us. Um, <laughs> and they went to the far sideline. But, I mean, everything worked itself out. Man, it's a great atmosphere, a great environment to play in. Uh, I was told that it was very, very packed. I don't usually turn around because I'm focused on the game. But everybody said it was a packed environment, and that's kind of what we wanted. Speaking of that packed environment, Stands here a little bigger, I think, maybe than Oscar Smith did. Allow you to bring more kids down here, or more fans down here? Uh, I would I would think we had a lot of fans here. I'm looking looking and seeing what's going on behind me and some of our former players that are hanging around. I think we brought a lot of people down. I, again, like I said, I didn't look, but I know uh, my former quarterback, DJ Johnson, was on the sideline. Uh, Tank Scott's uh, child and his wife was here. Oh, right, right, so I saw that whole deal. Uh, uh, it's just a lot going on and, and, and a lot of people come to support what we were doing. So I, I hope everybody from Richmond tried to come. I know they couldn't make it on all of them, but again, great environment. Well, look, let me ask you this here. You're 9-0 now. I know you keep track of this. You've won 31 in a row. You're trying to get the fifth state title. But you're 9-0 against the 757. Does that have any kind of meaning to you uh, in the last four or five years here? That means we just haven't lost <laughs> against the 757. I, I, mean, I mean, stuff like that. It's a catch-22, right? You start looking at it, you start patting yourself on the back. It doesn't matter. I mean, really, real, real talk. I mean, you got to go out and you got to play week in and week out. And if you don't, like somebody's going to beat you. It doesn't matter if it's from 757, 336, yeah. Greensboro, 804, 504. Right? Everybody yeah. wants to win when they come out on the field. I don't think anybody's coming out here and saying, oh, we're just going to line up and let Highland Springs just run all over us. Like, yeah. everybody wants to win a football game. So we just want to continue to play well. What's it like? This is billed as a battle of Virginia 804-757. I asked one of your other players this. What's it like to come down from the 804 and steal victory here in the 757 from a 757 powerhouse? Uh, I mean, it was a great game, right? And, and 757, 804, like, we really got to nix that and we got to just be the state of Virginia because we just got to play good football in the state of Virginia no matter what. I know it's two prideful communities, right? I don't want to take that from anybody, but like for the sake of 
football in the state of Virginia, a sport that people are trying to kill and take away from us, like we got to continue to build it and playing marquee games like this early on that doesn't affect if you're going to be in the playoffs, a five playing a six, or five playing a four, or three playing a four. Mm -hmm. I think it has to happen more than we're allowing it to happen right now. The one, it helps each program financially, and then it gives each team an opportunity to just kind of build and grow and be a better football program. Final one, we appreciate the time. It wasn't the prettiest game, some penalties on both sides, mm -hmm. some sluggish play times, but it was hard hitting, it was hard fought. What are you most proud of out of this game as you move to 2-0 on this journey where every week it's a tough, tough game for you guys? Just turn around and look at the scoreboard. <laughs> it's the only thing I'm proud of. I mean, I got to go back and look at it. We'll watch the film. Uh, if you ask me that tomorrow, I can tell you a little bit better. But we won. If we would have won 13-12, to if we would have won... Uh, 10 to 9, 2 to 1, whatever it was, we won the game. It's kind of a blur. I mean, that's just, that's yeah. it. I mean, what happened out there on the field, we're going to sit down, we're going to look at tomorrow, uh, we're going to break it down, and we're just going to grow from that point. Uh, to ask me what I enjoy right now, I mean, I'm, I'm not as emotional as Mac Brown was the other day, oh, but God. you know what I'm coming from, but I am happy, I'm excited, it's a win. And I'm going to enjoy it tonight, and then tomorrow we'll start working on Metabro. Hey, it's Survive and Move On. Thank you so That's much. It. Congrats. Appreciate it. Yep, no doubt. Thank you, gentlemen.